got a question from Kent and he gives us a lot of information. I am interested in improving my back squat, which has always been the laggard of lifts for me. I am 45 and the only reason for me doing this is personal in the sense that I am generally healthy, strong and fit. However, my ego would like a bigger squat and has convinced my mind there's a chance of a stronger squat come, will come in handy next time I need to lift a cable car off a burning building. You're right, it's very helpful. If there's a program you could recommend, please let me know. Here are some general stats. General stats. Um, 45 years old, 5'9", 180. Uh, he can run a 5K in 20 minutes. Squat, 265 for a single, huh? Bench, 225 for five. Deadlift, 340 for three. Strict press, 145 by five. Clean and jerk, 205. Snatch, 145. And uh, five strict pull-ups with a 30-pound load. Yeah, nicely done. Uh, you know, your numbers are all basically fairly in line. That's good to see. Uh, I would suggest doing something along the lines Marty Gallagher does for his people is stop. Stop right now and, and, and it'd be good if you could get a coach to watch your squat. But what Marty does when you come to him is he's, with the squat is he starts making you do body weight squats and you have to do three sets of 20 perfect squats. Now, I, I saw him work with Phil and uh, I got to tell you, man, it, it was a humbling experience watching uh, Marty critique every body weight squat. But the idea of working your way up, uh, you'll find the program in his book, Strong Medicine. But really, it's going to be pretty simple, okay? So you're going to start off with um, body weight squats for a couple weeks. And what you want to do is get yourself in a mirror and make sure there's, you know, chin, sternum, zipper are all in a straight line every time. You are sinking between your knees every time. Your body is sliding between your knees. The chin is up. There's no butt wink, even though I don't personally care about butt wink. After that, um, well, Kent, you're 45. You've got plenty of time. I would move to the goblet squat. And again, same rules. Uh, don't go heavy on Squat down on every rep. Push your knees out with your elbows. Squeeze tall. Come up. Do that for a few weeks. Then go to double kettlebell front squat. So you got that extra load here. And a lot more. Uh, I call it anaconda strength. But that's that inner tube pressure of your body when you squat. Do that for a couple of weeks. And then maybe even if you have the ability. Do a week or two of overhead squats. Now that you have a back squat in a while, now go back to the bar, throw the 135 on the bar, and test yourself in the back squat to see if all that technical work, the anaconda work and all that stuff kicked in. Interesting, if you took it seriously and you put yourself on a program, Marty has tons of stuff on linear periodization, and that's kind of what I think you're gonna need to do here. Um, so week one, uh, you build up to a max set of eight, Week two, you go a little heavier. Week three, you go a little heavier. Week four, you go heavier, but a set of five. Week heavier, set of five. Week set heavier, set of five. Next week, heavier, set of three. Next week, heavier, set of three. Heavier, set of three. Next week, heavier, set of two. Heavier, set of two. And then you might want to try a max uh, on that next week. That is, a, that is as old as dirt, uh, but it's a, it's a program that might work well for you. So... Humble yourself to get those body weight squats in. Um, I even use I use door handles to do them here. Uh, using any kind of suspension trainer is a good one too for the first workout, just to make sure you're grooving that position. So you're gonna do a couple, you know, a week or two of body weight goblet, kept double kettlebell, front squat if you can uh, with a barbell, overhead squat if you can, and then do a do a little uh, back squat program. It's not bad. Thank you.